This will be a quick video. We're just going to do a short recap of scientific notation, which you should have learned about last year, and hopefully you're using in your science classes. Scientific notation is a way of writing really large or really small numbers I'm um, in a shorthand condensed exponential form. So you've got a number in the front multiplied by 10 to some power, and the power could be positive or negative depending whether the number is uh, large or small. The number in the front here has to be between 1 and 10, so it's a single digit number, although it could have some decimals. So, for example, 3.2 times 10 to the fifth, or negative 6.81 times 10 to the negative third, things like that. And so, the reason that you do this is because 10 to the fifth. Uh, is 10,000 actually, or is it? No, it's 100,000. And so this is 3.2 times 100,000. And so if you have a positive exponent, that's multiplying by 10 over and over and over. And because we're dealing with base 10 system in America, um, every time you multiply by 10, you move the decimal place one unit to the right. So this is 3, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Digits. The decimal was right here. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the same as this right here is the same as three hundred and twenty thousand. So three point two times a hundred thousand. And so there's a it's a shorthand way to write it, but you need to understand the exponent rules. Okay, negative six point eighty one times ten to the negative third. Negative exponent means divide by ten because if you remember a negative exponent, this is the same as times one over. 10 to the third. A negative exponent means uh, reciprocate or divide. And every time you divide by 10, you move the decimal place to the left. So 1, 2, 3. So we have to add a 0 here, we have to add a 0 here, and then put a decimal. So this is going to be 0 0.00681. So um, just bear in mind that the exponent tells you how many places to move the decimal place left, right? And it's a shorthand way of writing it. Okay, so here's a, a little bit of uh, text to kind of explain that idea. To convert between standard form and scientific notation, move the decimal place left or right and decrease or increase the exponent to compensate. So if you increase the exponent by one, you need to move the decimal place to the left. And if you decrease the exponent by one, you need to move the decimal place to the right. And then remember that overall, a positive exponent is going to give you a large number, and a negative exponent is going to give you a small number. If you accidentally get this stuff backwards, this will save you, right? If you accidentally move the decimal place the wrong way, you'll end up with a number that's way too big instead of way too small. And you should notice that right away. Last thing to comment is, when multiplying or dividing numbers using scientific notation, you don't have to convert them to standard form first. You can just use your exponent rules. So they're great for that. Express each number in scientific notation. So let's start here. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We move the decimal place 6 times. So it's 1.9 times 10 to the 6th. And if you accidentally messed up and you put a negative 6 here, you should immediately catch yourself and say, wait, this is a really big number, so I need to have a positive exponent. Okay, likewise, let's try this one. Move the decimal place to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So I have 7.04 times 10 to the negative 4 because I moved it to the right 4 times. Notice I don't move it all the way to the end because then I'd have 704. So I could have put 704 times 10, and that would have been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? Technically, okay, technically these are both the same answer. However, only the top one is in scientific notation, because remember this number in the front here has to be between 1 and 10. So 704 is not correct. In fact, if I have 704, I need to move the decimal place twice to the left so that my result is just a 7, which is between 1 and 10. And when I move this 7 to, sorry, when I move the decimal place twice to the left, I have to add 2 to the exponent, which is what takes me from here to here. Okay, express each number in standard form. We already did a couple of these examples, so I'll skip ahead. Now, evaluate the product when multiplying two numbers, um, because when you're multiplying, you can do them in any order. Just like with exponents before, the 4.8 times the 6 can be done first. So whip out a calculator or do it in your head. 4.8 times 6 is going to give me 28.8. 28.8 times 10 to what power? Now, 
10 to the 4th and 10 to the 6th, I add the exponent, because I'm multiplying the base, keep the base the same, add the exponent, 4 plus 6 is 10. Now you might think you're done, however, unfortunately, our coefficient is not between 1 and 10, so I need to move the decimal place over 1, and I want to put 2.88 times 10 to the what? Now is it a 9, or is it 11? I move the decimal place to the left, so I add 1, and I get 11. 28.8 is a bigger number, so if I change it, if I make this number smaller, I have to make this number bigger to compensate. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's do one more here. Let's do a power of a power, okay. So this squared is going to go into the first part, and it's going to go into the second part. So 7.2 squared, I'll have to use a calculator for that, 7.2 squared is 51.84 times 10 to the what power? Now, 5 to the negative 2 squared is 5 to the negative 10, because negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And again, just like before, I have to move the decimal place over 1. So I have 5.184 times 10. 10. Now, I move the decimal place 1 to the left, so I add 1 to the exponent. But if I add 1 to a negative 10, I get negative 9. Okay. So, uh, when you divide, you do the same thing. Divide this top number by the bottom number. So, 4.2 divided by 3. Calculate that up, and you get 1.4 times 10 to... Now, 10 to the 5th divided by 10 to the negative 3rd. When you divide, you subtract 5 minus a negative 3 is 8. Or you could remember that if we think of it as a combat or something, you've got 5 of these guys. Because this is a negative exponent, they're on the wrong side. They need to move up and join them. If you have 5 here and you put 3 more there, you have a total of 8. Okay, so that's enough examples for now, but you get the idea. Um, convert by moving the decimal place back and forth and multiply or divide by doing the coefficients first and then applying the exponent rules to the um, exponential part of scientific notation.